It's Lee here, the rental guy. Today, we are going to go over how I use ChatGPT inside my party rental business. So what you have to remember is that ChatGPT can now be visual. So all you have to do is screenshot portions of your screen, and then you take those screenshots and you tell ChatGPT what to do with it. Okay, so let's put this very simply. On my website, there's a thing called the footer at the bottom. And in the footer, I have something called a quick contact form. This. Okay, so right there is the quick contact form. Even though I have forms plastered throughout my website, I also keep a quick contact form there because uh, the amount of people that just have a quick question go to the bottom of the page and they're looking for something more. Uh, this mitigates that because they can put that question in there quick. Uh, if they don't feel like picking up the phone to call us or sending us an email, uh, have a question, ask us. Just like that, very simple, it works great. Okay, I get a few inquiries a day on this and here's one. So basically it shows their name, email, phone number, what they fill out and then what they're looking for. And all that I have to do is I just screenshot this. So I go over to my keyboard and I press, I go over to my keyboard and I press shift, windows key and S. The shift, windows key and S. Shift, windows key and S all at the same time. Okay, so when I do this, shift, windows key and S, push it all at the same time. And now you can highlight anywhere on the window that you wanna take your screenshot. So I can just grab all this information and there we go, it's already saved. And then I just go over into ChatGPT and I copy that picture. Uh, so I just press paste and then I give it uh, how I wanna respond. So I just put the photo right in there, just paste it in and I wrote, let her know I just sent a quote over. Yes, it does come with everything needed as long as they have a regular plug for 110 volt blow. And then instantly it's just bam, right there. It gives you everything that you need to answer back. So another one is asking its opinion. I was changing some items on the header of my website. So I just did that trick again. And then I screenshotted the header of my website and I said, hey, how can I make these words sound better? I took the screenshot of my website there. You can see just like that. And then I said, should this header of my website say something about our location? If so, where should I fit it? What should I say? Saskatoon and area. And then it gives me everything I need right there. So here's before and then here's after. Probably serving Saskatoon and all of Saskatchewan. Very simple, very simple stuff. But uh, I knew that I needed to have, you know, the word Saskatchewan and Saskatoon in there because that's where I'm serving. Uh, but I didn't know quite how to fit it in. So screenshots are everything. This is us doing the hard way of how the future is gonna be because we're soon gonna be wearing those glasses that are gonna view everything in front of us and we're gonna be asking its opinions. But right now we take the photos with our phones and we take snapshots in our computers and then we plug it into ChatGPT and then ask a question that way and then it will give you its opinion, which is way smarter than uh, everyone else. It really is. While we're sitting in front of my computer, another quick little hack is what I did, is I turned every website that I visit into an app so that it's all sitting here on my bottom uh, so that I don't have to type websites constantly in. I just have quick access to it. Well, that's one way that I use ChatGPT in my party rental business. If you like this video, press like and I can make more of these.